Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Peter Nordland. I'm from San Diego, California, and my specialty is in oral plastic surgery. So I look forward to the opportunity to be at this meeting and learn from the quality presentations that are here. The FDI brings a lot of credibility, and because of its reputation, to choose Chile for this program has been very special. It's a, it's very special because it brings the level of education up. And I know that the purpose, one of the purposes of the meeting, has been to educate and bring the level of dentistry up so that the quality for the common person is increased. And not only that, but overall quality raised up too. So I think it means a lot for, for Chile. I hope it does. I think it should. My area is called periodontal plastic surgery. So in terms of being able to regrow tissues, regrow bone, regrow soft tissue, we've become more predictable, we've become more aesthetic. So our goal is to be able to return the patient to the normal when they're missing not just the tooth, but they're missing bone, they're missing gum tissue, that we're able to do that in a more predictable way than ever before. And to not only do it with predictability, but to do it without causing pain. No dolor. Yes, minimal, minimal dolor. And so that's some of the nicest aspects of periodontics and oral plastic surgery, is that we've been able to become very predictable and to do so without pain. A lot of the surgeries have also been um, done with more a uh, microsurgical approach. So just like someone that's had knee surgery in the old days, a big long incision versus a pinhole, having smaller access but getting good results or excellent results are some of the big changes that we've had. With our procedures, it would be really nice when we have the ability use stem cells. Stem cells will give us even less limitations. We'll be able to have more bone, more soft tissue, and to be able to use those things without having to harvest it from the patient themselves. So right now, most of the time, the gold standard when grafting materials is to use the patient's own material. If it's their own tissue, their own bone. It would be great when we don't have to do that and we can use a material that's off the shelf, ready to go. For the younger dentists that are coming up through the ranks, I think that education is number one. And just like this FDI meeting is bringing education, the more education you get, the better you can make decisions. The better you can decide, do I want to do A, B, or C? because it's through education you can make good decisions that way. A lot of people think it's just gonna be handed to them, but there's a lot of hard work out there. So attending meetings like this is one of the best ways to increase your level of knowledge and help you to become better at your chosen field. If you decide to specialize, I think it can help to elevate what you're able to do. Many times as a general practitioner you can still do many things, but it is the age of specialization now. And with all of these aspects of this meeting, for example, there are nine different focus, foci, nine different areas to be able to focus in. And the student coming up through the ranks, learning, finding out what is exciting to you, what really makes you smile, what really makes you feel fulfilled inside. What, identify what that is and then you'll be able to go for it with all of your heart.